M0FXB Zygu X6 200 big update here version 1.07 optimize AGC algorithm and fine-tune the AGC rise times in each mode to improve the listening experience fixed bug where WFM demodulation would become silent after being left idle for a period of time fixed a bug where the battery capacity detection was inaccurate Fixed a bug that caused crackling noise in the received audio after the CW decoder was turned on. That's worth testing, isn't it? NR is, has been optimized. Change the baseband uplink data to use SLIP encoding. What's that? Um, added 2.55 kilohertz steps SSB. Change the preset filter bandwidths in AM 9, 12 and 15 kilohertz. Optimize the received noise floor. Add an option to display the receiving level in the upper left corner of the spectrum window. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Added two water wall chart speed options. Oh, yeah, so that's fair enough. Yeah, the speed of the. That, I think that's a good one. Modified the upper frequency limit to the 136 megahertz consistent with the manual. Fixed the bug that caused a black screen and disconnection when rotating the main tuning wheel quickly while connected to the WR12, which I really like. Fixed the bug that caused the spectrum display to freeze in severe cases. The entire screen would freeze <coughs> when the RF spectrum line color transparency was set below 255. Remove CW option for the modem interface. The CW decoder has been moved to the key menu. And this is an interesting one, added 3D band scope option. It says here, display menu number three, band scope on. So anyway, download it here, just click download. You get the zip here. And then you're gonna need Rufus. It's not, I can't see it included. So download Rufus, I'll put a link in there. I've got the SD card in my PC already. Um, I'm already I've already got the power lead connected to my x6200 so all we have to do now is get the image that i've saved on my desktop so let's just select uh, let's get it right here move that out of the way so there's the sd card 64 gb the one i've got and then select find that image which i put on my desktop it keeps it's got a life of its own this box I mean, I really like this radio because it's what it costs and for what it does. I think it's really good. All in one, shack in the box, but with a tuner. Anyway, that des desktop, go down. Image, image, where is it? SD card, there it is there. That's the image selected. The SD card goes start. And you get the warning. All that will be raised on the card. I did format it using my normal sd card formatter and then it's literally just a matter of putting it in the radio and turning the radio on which we're going to do live and do a couple of little tests i think the first one i'm going to look at is um <clears throat> the 3d scope i've got my wr12 unit connected at the top there i'm not going to i've left it disconnected in in during this update I don't even know if you can update that unit, but um, you know it allows you to to get to to have VHF and UHF on this radio. All right, it's receive only, but you know ninety nine percent of the time I am just receiving. Right, that says ready. So safely remove your card by selecting eject. Grab the card and just put it into the device. Hopefully you can see. I'll get a torch here. Yeah. So, to round, and then put it in, I've got the, the gold colour to the back, right, just check it's the right way round, no, turn it round, it's better, gold colour, gold to the front, put, click it into place, like so and let's just turn it on i would hold the power remember i've got my power coming in i'm not just relying on the battery here yeah i held it until i heard a couple of clicks there 
And we do, once once it's loaded, I, I think there's a, one extra thing we have to do. So let's just wait. I'll keep it live. Fast forward if it's boring. Uh, we have to, oh, I'll show you when I do it. So it's loading. You know, how many radios can you just get? Even the 705, you can't do it. And I know we've got the FTX one, but £1,600. These, I think I've seen them going for 700 odd. You've got the tuner. You can listen to airband. You've got VHF, UHF received. Then you've got HF six meters. You've got CW decode, RTW decode. And it just, the list is endless and it's as good as you're learning. So that seems to have gone in. Just going to be patient. Yeah, take the SD card out. And then let's turn it on for the first time. I'll get an antenna on there as well. Get that boot up, then we'll get the antenna. Oh, we did, we've got to do the last final firmware thing. Being patient. There you are. It's scary firmware, isn't it? <laughs> Right, let's get an antenna on that. Power on initiate, it says. Okay, we're going to go, if you can't see the settings menu, press the gen button, go to system, and then navigate <laughs> to firmware upgrade, upgrade. And then select that and then click upgrade. This is the final sort of part that you have to do. I don't know if we need that tool, just to see. Yeah, there it goes in red. Firmware upgrade, writing flash. And then what I'll do, I will reboot it after this. Connect the antenna. I think I'll connect the WR2 as well. Why not? Uh, yeah, 100%. It clicked. And then we'll go quit, exit. I've got those lines on the screen now. And I'm going to power cycle it. Power it off, let it off, go off completely. Put my antenna on. The nice thing about the WR12 is it allows you to have the antenna on top, which I think is pretty good. So power on. Our boot. Ooh, we have life. Well, it look, it looks fantastic. Sorry, it's my camera doing that. I mean, look at the colours, and it's it's looking and sounding great. Hopefully, I haven't got it too loud. I just want you to hear it. Luckily, there's a bit of activity. I mean, it's quite early here. It's 8.30 in the morning. And the tuner's on. So I can hear it. As, I move, as I'm moving... I can hear I the tuner adjusting. adjusting. I've got the, I've got the WR12 connected. So if I, so if want, I want, and I had, and I had the, right the right antenna, sorry about the glare. 
I can actually, I can actually select, select if we go up and down, up and down the bounce. Now, let's just quickly do the 3D. Three D. I want to do the 3D thing. Do I'm, going to do well, I'm going to do another video, video. but anyway, press, press display. display. Then go next, then go next, 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 and, next. Go you can go previous, previous here, but go next, next until you get to the, the, last, the last window. window. Move across, Move across and then we're going to turn, turn fan, fan, fan scope 3D on. on. So you should take a listen to the memory. Okay. okay. That's what I'm That's seeing, what I'm seeing with band scope 3D. 3D. I'm, guessing I'm guessing that it's going to be something like what um, Yesu. Yesu do. Not seeing, Not seeing it. it at the moment. Wow. wow. I rebooted, I rebooted it, it and it's actually worked. worked. <laughs> That's brilliant! I'm getting a crackling, getting a crackling sound. sound. I don't know if that's me or the, or the antenna, antenna, but... Yeah, I just, I just think, think fair, play fair play to Zygu, Zygu. Come, on. come on! For trying to push the, push the boat out, out on it. Let's do the Let's RF, do the RF game. game. Just, well, just doing the RF, doing the RF game. It's like it is like it is like the Yesu. And you can see, and you can see the peaks. I'm getting some, I'm getting some crackling, but I think a couple of reboots and that might stop. And so, uh, and so uh, yeah, just quickly looking at some of this. Is there anything obvious? I'm just looking at all the changes. Uh, I, there's nothing obvious to show, I would say. To me, it's working fine. Let's just do the thing. If you flick and flick, if you go to display and just turn that off with the bottom left button, exit, it does switch back. All it is, I'm just getting this... Um, this crackling sound, so I'll probably reboot it and come back. So let me let me do some more videos on this, and um, but this is really an installation video, and and uh, and yeah, apart from the crackling, wow! This can I put it as a shortcut? Display. I go select. Yeah, I can do it as a shortcut. I'll leave that there, and I'm going to reboot. Then it go completely off, go back on, then I'm going to make a separate video tinkering with it. Remember, built-in tuner. I think, I'm pretty sure they're about £700 now, these. And yeah i just i didn't even know they did that thanks for watching always, i always appreciate you uh, watching my learning remember i'm learning i'm not actually teaching um this is when it pounds on i see this the crackling has stopped yes the crackling has stopped. Press for squelch, press for RF gain. Haven't even got the preamp on or anything. You know why they've done it, don't you? <laughs> it's because of the FTX1. I'm telling you, that's why they've done it. 7.3. Sorry about the screen going all funny, but my other video is not going to have the screen going all white like that. Bye.